G'day ladies and gentle tubers. Uh, today I'm going to tear apart my lawn tractor. Uh, she's just uh, instantaneously stopped driving forward. The drive belt is not broken as I've already inspected that but it's uh, very well worn and I'm hoping that replacing that as well as the um, diff drive belt at the back will rectify the situation. If not, it'll be a search around for a missing spring, um, which hopefully that's not the case because the diagrams on these things online are a little bit uh, wild and all over the place. Um, but I'm going to have a shot. I've already removed the hood, the battery and the mower deck. Uh, they're all pretty straightforward and easily found on YouTube if you want to figure out how to do that. Um, Mind you, if you're not capable of removing those, maybe this is a bit of an ask for your skill set. Um, although, you know, you watch a lot of YouTube, you'll figure it out. So as you can see, hood's off, uh, battery's out, deck's off. Uh, I like to work on this mower leaning on its driver's side right side. So it's a bit of a, a lift to get it over. But uh, what that allows you to do is avoid spilling fuel out of that fuel cap all over the floor um, unless you're smart enough to remove the fuel from it before you start. All right so what we've got is this long drive belt here which you can see is quite loose travels around the engine output shaft through these two pulleys here which engages and disengages with the foot pedal that's where I'm all loose and wobbly. And we've got a main output shaft here that goes onto a pulley and then onto a diff to drive the back wheels. This long belt here is to replace that one. Parts number will be below in the description, but it is a B2235LI. And then the smaller V belt at the back is a 954-0468P. So let's see how this goes. The key here is we've got to remove this guy here, which is already loosened off. We've got to pull out the main drive pulley assemble. Pull these guys out through here, which is going to be no mean feat. There is a little guide bolt here keep the belt separate so we'll pull that out these should all come off here and then we're going to have to disassemble some of that rear pulley system there to get the belt off that end hopefully whilst we're going with that we will simply slot this one in as well All right guys, I've removed that pulley to give myself some slack. Yes, I could have taken this one off, but if I had taken this one off, it's the pivot, and there'd be a whole heap of stuff in behind there that will cause uh, issues on reassembly. So hopefully that will be all I need, which it is. Caught on that small bolt there. Okay, so here we are down to the nitty gritty of it. What we have here, this is obviously the long belt from the engine coming back and it sits on that bottom pulley. Then the drive belt to the diff comes off this top pulley, comes around this spring-loaded arm or tensioner arm and then back around the large diff pulley there. The beauty of the construction here is that there are no shafts above those pulleys in any of those situations all the way around which means we can take all of these belts off over the top of the pulleys and put the new ones back over the top of the pulleys. 
Our only concern is gonna be whether or not we have clearance between the pulley positions and the chassis to get the pulleys on. So this one might be a little bit hard to follow, but I think you've got the concept. What we need to do is we need to loosen this spring off. So grab it with a pair of vice grips and undo it at its anchor point. That'll give us a lax tension on that top belt. We pull the top belt off. We take the drive belt off after that. We put the new drive belt on. Then we put the diff drive belt back on, retension it, and then send this guy all the way back through again, replacing that little separator pin, the pulley, and the main drive pulley. There appears to be only a pinch point for the top belt on that main output pulley to the diff. So I'm gonna to have to undo that one and that's accessible from the battery compartment. So we're gonna quickly flip it back on all fours. Now unfortunately our main drive belt is actually pinched against the chassis on that outside edge which I can't get a shot of but we'll have to flip it back on its side to release some mechanical pressure there so we can get it off. Alright so this is the uh, common pulley assembly for the drive from the motor and then the drive to the diff and this is where this bottom pulley this is where our belt is getting pinched against this side of the chassis uh, there's probably a couple of things you could do here but I think the best way to go is on the side here we have one two three bolts that hold that assembly to the side of the chassis and I reckon if we just loosen those we don't even need to take them all the way off I think if we just loosen those we're going to be in a situation where we can pull that apart it's given me the perfect amount of slack pull that out without removing that assembly which makes everything easier to put back together again straight back into reassembly while everything's still fresh in our heads Right, so now we're just simply doing everything in reverse. So we put the pulley back on that bottom belt. It was a little bit hard to get past this bottom guide, but you don't need to pull the pulleys off to get it past. It's just a little bit of twisting and turning of the belt to do that. We reattach the, uh, the pulley bracket to the chassis. Uh, now we're gonna flip it back over, uh, put on the uh, diff drive belt, and that main pulley. A few of you with the uh, great attention to detail gene will have noticed that I put that nut back on top of that assembly after removing the pulley. That's purely so that if there's any other parts in there that can fall off now that the pulley's removed, 
that's to retain those whilst they have the mower on its side. And apply a little thread lock on this one because obviously it came off with thread lock. Use a pin punch to hold the pulley in place. And that's the belt, it's entirely reassembled. I haven't put the guide on over that yet because that will go on when I put the deck back on. So let's give it a test drive and see if it works. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, fire away with any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.